Lady Flames come into Amanda Littlejohn Stadium at Campbell University for the first round matchup in the Big South Conference Softball Championship and come up just short by a 4-3 to three margin. The Flames had plenty of opportunities, runners in scoring position in the second, third, and fourth, and seventh inning that they were not able to get across on the play. And Coach Richardson had this to say about the Flames' options after the game. Yeah, it's a tough loss because we uh, out hit Charleston Southern and uh, eight hits, eight walks. We left 12 on base, had bases loaded, two innings, uh, left people in scoring position, another two or three, if I recall. And it's always tough when you don't get that uh, hit that I like to say, um, you know, is the money hit uh, that's getting the RBIs to score the runs. But hey, the kids battled. A lot of them did really well. You look at Tori Zavodny, had uh, two hits today, two for four. Uh, Madison Kachi got in those two RBIs, really did well. Uh, Kay Mack uh, or Cassidy McCoy also had two run, uh, two hits as well and did her job. Nice sacrifice bunt came down. So, there, I mean, really, there were some great performances. Uh, Chandler struggled today, however, only gave up four hits, and uh, we just needed to score more runs and didn't do it. Yeah, it was great to see that Madison Kachi's really been working hard, and I saw something in her eyes today that we talked about on radio. Uh, she was really in the zone, and I was excited to see that. And to see uh, the freshman team deliver, you know, if you look at that, uh, Lex uh, hit a line drive off a changeup and got a bunt down that we needed. Uh, but, you know, it really was a couple batters leaving some runners on base and not getting that key hit that uh, made the difference. But I tell you, some balls went their way as well. When you get calls as well that... Uh, they were the right calls, but it just so happened uh, we one run short. One run short. And now the Liberty Flames will take on the loser of the game that immediately follows them in the tournament between Longwood and Gardner Webb. Earlier today, Gardner Webb upset Radford to move into that number eight spot in the tournament, and Liberty will take on the loser of that game tomorrow morning at nine o'clock. Reporting for the Liberty Flames Sports Network, I'm Kevin Keys from Bowie's Creek, North Carolina.